Viva Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly is interviewing Holger Riemensperger, the CEO of ASCI, which is celebrating a hundred years of being in business as a leading supplier of explosives, detonators and chemicals. Holger, it's great to chat to you. I'd like to kick off with this question. What is your main message to the world as AECI advances from a century of developing and supplying key mining products and chemical products? Our key message is that we are proud about our people. The legacy of 100 years is built by our people. It's by their hearts, by their minds. And uh, the next 100 years will be built by our people. And where does AECI rank globally? And what is the global position you're targeting going forward? Actually, our market structure, we have uh, one large, the largest player, that's uh, Orica. Then you have a second one, Diner, and then there is uh, another large one, Inex, which is also in a joint venture with Sasol here in South Africa. And then there's a group of another uh, four, about the same size. So you could say anything between number four and number seven. That's where we rank, pretty close to the others. And how do you plan to accelerate the internationalization of ACI going forward? So we, we have built a very nice growth momentum outside of South Africa, but also outside of Africa, outside of the continent, uh, specifically in Australia and in Indonesia. So we yeah, develop practically every year uh, twice the revenues. And um, we see this momentum continuing, but we also target other geography. So it's all about internationalization in specific geographies. What opportunity do critical minerals and metals present and where? They do present a very uh, nice opportunity for us and, and we're actually eyeing specifically markets where you find uh, critical minerals, uh, which is Australia, also Peru, Chile, uh, Brazil and US and Canada. So that's geographically also our target markets, but we are not looking only for specific commodities. In general, we believe we can add value uh, to the mining of all commodities. And from which countries do you expect AECI to gain substantial market share? And do you expect some to rival South Africa in the years ahead when it comes to market share? Actually, we already have very uh, nice market shares in, in African countries, but I, uh, I think that specifically in, in Africa, I would, I would mention Ghana and, and Botswana. Um, but again, outside of, of Africa, I mentioned already Australia, we have still big potential there to gain market share, and I'm sure we will. Indonesia, I mentioned as well. So, but specifically in the ones where we enter newly, so Brazil, we made an acquisition last year. We have already presence in Chile uh, and uh, we are now eyeing Peru. So we want to grow our market share specifically in those countries, but also in Canada and in the US. And how green and how innovative will AECI be as it goes forward? And what can be done about greening AECI in South Africa, particularly from a green ammonia point of view? That's a very interesting question. Um, so we have a legacy of innovation. Actually, is ACI, I would say, is one of the bigger innovators in our industry. Even, even customers and peers refer to ACI as the university of the industry for that reason. So on the innovations, on, and also green or CO2 friendlier, uh, I would say we all eyeing the move to the next explosives away from ammonia nitrate. That's a big move. There's still a lot of work to do. In the moment, many would, would uh, tell that uh, hydrogen peroxide would be the next one. I believe it takes another couple of years until we get there, but this is definitely something. So how can we develop uh, explosives with less uh, CO2 or uh, NOx in this case? So then also the way that we apply our uh, explosives can contribute to an optimization in the downstream of mining, which would also reduce uh, the uh, CO2 footprint of the mine. And your question around the green ammonia. Uh, the green ammonia definitely has a future, but 
more likely there is uh, only a few markets in the moment that would be willing to pay a premium. So this is this is the European market, that's the North American market, and probably Australia to some degree. In the other markets, there is no ask, to be honest, for a green ammonia, and nobody's willing to pay the premium in the moment. But I think on the long run, we will move there. And can you explain a bit about the hydrogen peroxide you're talking about? It's a it's a highly uh, explosive, instable uh, chemical. So the the difficulty of, of using hydrogen peroxide um, is transport. So how, how can we stabilize the product from production to application? Um, and there are still a lot of questions. Time frame on that, what would you estimate? Oh, I, I personally, I believe this is about 10 years out. And doubling profitability of core mining and chemical units by 2026 is ambitious. How do you intend realizing that aspiration? That is indeed ambitious, but we, we like ambitions. Uh, there are two ways to it. So it's basically two, two goals that we are seeking here. Uh, doubling for us means, to give you a number, just a rough number, about 3.2 uh, billion rands on EBITDA, which about 2 billion is in revenue growth, of organic growth coming from revenue. Uh, so the track uh, record we have in the moment with regards to EBITDA growth, that would bring us there, basically, uh, to close that 2 million. And then we have uh, created a transformation program with, in the moment, more than 500 initiatives uh, to also unlock the other 1.2 billion EBITDA over the next three years. 500 initiatives? 500 initiatives. Can you give us insight into some of those? <laughs> uh, they are bundled in different uh, work streams, so to speak, that is in procurement, that is in uh, operations excellence, that is in our operating model, that is in, in, in commercial excellence. So just to make an example, so we're looking into our, our factories and, um, and really run programs on how to produce more efficient. That goes from planning into the mechanical aspects of, of the process. So. Do we have the right capacities? Uh, do we need to adjust capacities um, in the way we plan? It is about yeah, some new uh, or investments into new equipment to increase efficiency. That that's the smaller thing. So then we're looking into how can we better approach customers and bundle our products, cross-selling aspects. That's in the commercial excellence. In the procurement, we look into how can we bundle the different businesses and, and into, into, let's say, on, on logistics, for instance. That's a big one for us. We do a lot of logistics, so how can we bundle that and then tender that out? It's about these type of things, pretty much. And tell us about the disposal of non-core assets and what that will do to AECI's debt and its gearing. ACI had, it, had spread itself to sin. So we have run, or still do, uh, manage 16 businesses that was managed in a holding, holding structure. Um, and so we have decided uh, to go into a corporate structure with two divisions, uh, a mining and a chemical, which mining is the core of uh, AZI. And uh, the divestment of the other business is not because it's bad businesses or bad people, it is really a strategic decision. I say this is not a business that we should be in and focus on the other. So if we... Um, if we divest all those businesses within the time frame that we have set, that's 18 months from t November last year, uh, that will bring us in a net cash position actually in, uh, in the end, uh, together with the organic growth that we expect. Um, and then that's also time to reinvest into mining and, uh, and really accelerate growth also inorganically. We want to bring ACI back to where it should be. From when I arrived in the country, I said, this is not the company, this is an institution. And uh, this is how I want others to see ACI again. I know that ACI has had that kind of an image. Uh, the world will see us uh, becoming the number three in our industry, in our selected industry. I'm, I'm really 100% certain. Um, and uh, we continue to innovate. We want to lead the market from the front. And when you say that business, is it about explosives, detonators and chemicals 
Is, is that what it's about? It is pretty much that, but we are not rule out that we extend our portfolio, uh, adding other services going forward. There is a big digital piece coming up. We are working on that. During the course of this year, we will also unveil our, our digital strategy in, in the market segment of mining uh, and what we can offer. So that may add another segment in the long term. That was Creamy Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, speaking to Holger Riemensperger, the CEO of AECI, which is celebrating a hundred years of being in business.